Do you ever feel that you were made for better things? That you started off with grand plans, but something got in the way? Despite what most people would call a successful life, I spent most of mine feeling kind of hollow inside. Like so many of you, I'm sure, I yearned to know what my purpose in life was. Why am I here? I dedicated nine years to looking for a cure. I did training, engaged mentors, read books, watched videos, then came across a concept called the five doors, and that's when everything started to shift. It made me realize I had a choice, and from there I developed a process to help me live true to my purpose. Suddenly I found I had more energy, I actually enjoyed getting out of bed in the morning. I welcomed it when people said, how are you? I became one of those lucky people who said, to think I get paid to do this. And instead of feeling permanently anxious, I felt more relaxed and comfortable in my skin. Now, if that sounds like the kind of life you want, it is actually possible, not just reserved for a lucky few. So what are the five doors? Well, let's do a quick exercise together. So close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and imagine you're facing a set of five doorways. Now, doorway number one on the left leads to the awful future, the catastrophic things that could happen to you. Bankruptcy, terminal disease, a terrible accident. Doorway number two is the mediocre future. It's basically what you've been programmed for. So if you lived your life on cruise control and did everything you were told to do, all the things that all the influences in your life wanted you to do, your parents, teachers, society, the religions, this is the doorway they want you to choose. It's all about playing small and safe. That's doorway number two. Luckily, there are three more doorways. Doorway number three is the good future, where you have at some point broken away and taken control. Maybe you chose the career that you wanted or, or married someone you loved rather than the person your parents wanted you to marry. But, but you're still on the treadmill, living the conventional life, month to month, paycheck to paycheck. That's doorway number three. Doorway number four is the conventional definition of success. So you might be running a very great business or taking awesome holidays, going on some incredible adventures. You might have even become a celebrity or have 100,000 followers on Instagram or, or have a huge house and lots of money in your account. But like a cake made without eggs, it still feels like there's a vital ingredient missing. That's doorway number four. Doorway number five. This is where you're in your element, doing what you love, but not just that, you're living with a sense of purpose, of fulfillment, because in the process, you're adding value to the lives of others and being rewarded for it. A purposeful, meaningful life doesn't happen to you by chance. It is a step-by-step -step process. Step one, you have to get clear on who you really are and what your special gift is. Step two, you need to know the one thing that can stop you getting what you want and how to conquer it. Step three, we work through your values and what you want your legacy to be. Step four, this is the magic where you actually enter the fifth door by taking your gift out to the world. And step five, where it all comes together and you create a vision of your perfect life. Finally, step six, we turn that vision into a set of goals so you make that fifth door life happen for you. If you're ready to discover what is behind your fifth door, if you're ready for a life filled with a sense of purpose and meaning, then seize the moment, get in touch, and let's begin this journey together.